Hey guys, I got a uh, 2011 Nissan Altima. So, I want to show you something. When you're programming the the key fob, the ones the it doesn't uh, I don't think it yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in the slot or not, but anyways. So, in the programming mode, how you know the key fob is programming? When you hit this start button during the programming process, it takes like 30 seconds. This uh, will go from off to straight to on. It won't stop at the ACC. When it stops on the ACC, that means this fob is programmed to the car already. Now, during the programming, it'll just go straight to on, and you'll look immediately to the uh, security light. Let's see, where's the security? It should be right there. Yeah, there it is, and it's flashing. Anyways, that security light will flash five times after the key fob is programmed, and then you'll turn it off, and then you'll turn it back on. It'll go straight to on again. It'll do it two times in a row, and then after that, you turn it off. You have to wait for it uh, to flash five times. The second time, it's not going to flash. Uh, you're just closing out the programming, and then uh, after that... You can hit it, and then once you hit it for the third time to turn it back on, it'll go straight to ACC first. That's how you know it's programmed, plus you have the security light. So if you ever have any issues where there's something wrong with the car, low battery, I don't know, something like that, or let's say the customer has a fob and, and you stick it in here and it goes straight to ACC and then it turns and then it goes on, that means their fob is programmed and they have some other issue with their car. You know, just so you know, you can save yourself uh, time and trouble and you can leave the job right away within two minutes of getting there instead of being there for 20 minutes or an hour trying to figure it out. Me, on the other hand, I would never be there for that long. I would know right away. But for those of you that don't know, now you know.